Want to disconnect your iPhone from your Mac to stop notifications or protect your privacy? We'll show you how. Plus, recommend some great setup apps to simplify device management. To disconnect from Finder, unplug your phone. If it reconnects over Wi-Fi, open Finder on your Mac. Click on your iPhone and uncheck Show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi under Options. Then disconnect and reconnect your iPhone's Wi-Fi. To disconnect from Personal Hotspot, click the Wi-Fi icon on your Mac. Select your iPhone's hotspot and disconnect. To stop automatic reconnection, go to System Settings, click Network, and turn off Ask to Join Hotspots. To disconnect Bluetooth, go to Settings on your iPhone, tap Bluetooth, find the eye icon next to your Mac, and disconnect. On Mac, click the Bluetooth icon, find your iPhone, click the eye icon, and disconnect. For a simpler way, Try Tooth Fairy from Setapp to manage Bluetooth with one click and custom shortcuts. Simply connect your device to your Mac via USB, install Tooth Fairy, and add it. To stop iMessages on your Mac, open Messages, go to Settings, iMessage tab, and uncheck Enable Messages in iCloud. To turn off AirDrop, go to your iPhone Settings, General, AirDrop, and choose Receiving Off. On your Mac, open Finder, Click AirDrop and select No One. To disable handoff, on your iPhone, go to Settings, General, AirPlay and Continuity, and turn off Handoff. On your Mac, open System Settings, General, AirDrop and Handoff, and toggle off Allow Handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. To unsync iCloud, go to Settings on your iPhone, Apple ID, iCloud, and turn off Sync for unwanted apps. On your Mac, open System Settings, Apple ID, iCloud, click on Drive, and disable Sync. To fully disconnect, sign out of iCloud on any device. To stop your Mac from ringing when your iPhone gets a call, open FaceTime on your Mac and uncheck Calls from iPhone in Settings under General. Finally, to stop syncing notes, go to iPhone Settings, Apple ID, iCloud, and turn off Notes. On your Mac, go to System Settings, Apple ID, and disable Sync This Mac under Notes. These steps will help you control your connections and privacy. We mentioned Tooth Fairy, but AnyTrans securely transfers files between your iPhone and Mac, while DropShare manages cloud file storage better. All are available on SetApp, free for seven days. What would you change about Apple device connections? Let us know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.